Hello guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how I achieved my eyeliner, my everyday eyeliner with the wing. So I'm sure at some point in time as a beauty lover or as a makeup artist or even as an upcoming makeup artist, you must have sat and thought to yourself like, hmm, how do I achieve a flawless eyeliner? Not to worry, in this video, I will show you how I achieve mine, the way I draw my eyeliner that has worked for me over time. And I hope that using that as a guideline, you will be able to draw yours like a pro and perfectly and flawlessly. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. to start the eyeliner tutorial i'll be using this eyeliner elizabeth helen eyeliner unfortunately the name has cleaned <laughs> that's to let you know that i've been using it for a while now so i'll be using this as you can see i don't have any eyeshadow on my eyes this is because i want you to clearly see i want you to clearly see what i'm doing so um when drawing your eyeliner, some people like that are learning, just learning how to draw their eyeliner. They tend to use this eyeshadow fallout shield. Like, so they place it at the corner of their eyes like this. And then they draw the liner. They draw the liner. But I won't be doing that today simply because I prefer drawing it directly without using anything any guide any eyeshadow fallout shield but some people will use this simply use this as guideline and most times when i draw my eyeliner i like to use my eyebrow as my guideline you can see the eyebrow tail where it's stuck so that's where i'll be drawing up my wing up so okay let me start with this eye so when you are drawing your wing your eyeliner wing you want to let make it as neat as possible yeah it may be hard and quite tricky but you have to be steady a lot of people have um, shaky hands i have shaky hands but thanks to practice i had to learn the art of making my eye my hand still enough to be able to draw at least a clear wing so this is how the eyeliner brush looks like it's a very thin brush let me remove the excess product from the brush okay so this is a very So this is a very thin brush, it's a thin brush so that it will be flexible to draw your wing and to perfect the eyeliner. And now I'll start by drawing my wing and as I said I tend to use my brow tail as a guideline to draw my wing up. So this is my, the end of my brow tail so I, I'll just draw a wing up towards like i'm going towards the tail of my brows so you want to make it neat and if you if it's not neat enough you can always clean it with a concealer so this is the eyebrow tail and this is the corner of the eye so you draw it up and you want to flick it did you see what i did i i didn't just shade and shade i flicked it flick is a sharp movement like instead of drawing it like this you flick it flick it like assume you're marking 
with notes, a notebook or a workbook. The mark, that stem looks like a flip. It's sharp. So that was what I did at the corner of my eye. And most people may, on first trial, may have like a very rough ring. But you can, if at all you want to adjust it, don't, I will advise you don't shade and shade and shade. You just gently, tiny strokes, go over with the liner on the ring you made. And you make it neat, you can see. So from there, you go, people tend to go from the end of the flick, that's the end of the ring. But I like to go from the middle. So from there, I draw like a 45 degree triangle downward. Do you see that? I look downwards, let me look downwards so you can see it properly. I draw it down what I take from not from the edge or the end I take it from like either half or almost towards the end and I take it downward to form like a downward triangle and then I color in the triangle I have drawn And then even while trying it, you may have like the tendency of sh shaking your hand or, or making mistakes. You can always clean it with a concealer. So you can see I've succeeded in make, creating a triangle at the corner of my eyes. Then I go and make a straight line on my lash line, along my, my lash line. So you look downwards and then make a straight line that connects with that of the triangle you've made. So when drawing your eyeliner, the goal you want to achieve is to have that clean, crisp look. You don't want to look like a panda, like a panda bear where like almost half of your eyes is covered with eyeliner. You don't want to be looking like that. You'll be looking crazy. So you want to just take your time. You're not, you don't need to rush. You don't have to, you're not rushing anywhere. Just take your time and draw it, especially for those who have shaky hands. Take your time and gently connect these lines. To each other so as you can see I have I have drawn the ring and then from the ring I went from the beginning of my eyes the lash line the front of my lash line and I connected the line to the other line that makes the ring so you can see this is simply how I draw my line and as usual, what you do for one eye, you do for the other. So I'll go ahead and do for the
and as usual you perfect your liner which means you make it clean so you go over it and make sure it's precise and clean as possible So you just clean it up with a concealer. So that's how I draw my eyeliner. Now I'll be going to apply my eyelashes and I'll meet you in a jiggy. So that's the simple way I draw my eyeliner. Now there may be numerous ways other people draw it, draw theirs, but I just decided to show you the simple way I do my liner that works for me. And um, so I decided to do a, a quick review about this eyeliner, the Elizabeth Helen eyeliner. I bought this to be honest because of the hype. I on about this product because of the hype I had and the around last year. So I decided to just buy it during like December last year to try it out and see how good it is and if it matches the hype. And um to be honest, if you want to get this eyeliner, um, it's good. It's um, I love how light it is. If you are the type that doesn't like heavy um, makeup products, like products that, like when you use them, it's as if you carried all the, <laughs> the weight or the burden of, of the world, then this will be good. It has a very, very light, comfortable weight. However, it tends to break. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. It tends to break and chip off easily. And um, if you observed, when I applied it initially, I had to go, reapply it. I had to go back and apply it once again, just so that it will stay in place. Um, but as, apart from that, it's a very light and very, very, very free, light and free product on your skin. So if you want to use this eyeliner for an event, if you are going so if you're going for an event um i'll advise you use maybe some other eyeliners that you have that will last for a long time let's say for weddings now for dinners if you're going for those kind of events and you're looking for an eyeliner that will last this may not really serve that properly however for your daily makeup or day-to-day -day makeup that this will be good yes I'm sure even when I zoomed in to my eyes, you will have seen that it had a bit of, it was about to chop and it was about to crack. It's a good liner, but it will not, in terms of if it, in lasting long life and lifespan, it may not serve that purpose. It may not last beyond like some hours, maybe four hours or so. So if you're going for weddings, if you're going for Let's say some events that will like from that will span from like eight to twelve or even the whole day, twenty four hours. I'll advise you go for other like more pigmented um, eyeliners. Um, so I just deliberately used this for this video to kind of test it on camera and see how it works for this tutorial. Like it's good for your everyday um makeup when you are just hanging around in the house. You just want to go from or maybe around your neighborhood this is not a bad option but for long events i advise you go for other eyeliners that are that will last longer yes and this is very light so you you love it because it's only heavy that's the major pro but the con is that 
with flakes, it breaks, it chips, it may not last you for a whole day. You may have to always go and retouch, always reapply. So um I just hope I hope you learned a thing or so. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and today's tutorial, this video. And um kindly keep sending me your um when your topics, topics that you want me to treat, you want me to look at, and I'll be glad to attend to you. And thank you for staying throughout. Thank you for staying to the, to the end of the video. And um, stay safe, stay fabulous, stay amazing. As always, stay amazing, stay fabulous. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.